<clears throat> Hi there, it's Jim. I am just figured out how to get PD to talk to um, my BCF2000 here. And I, I want to quickly show how I did that. Before I forget, honestly, it's not really to help you. Well, I'm glad you, if you find it helpful, that's great. But I'm doing this so I don't forget. So the first trick is in PD, you have to set this um, this input device and output device. So here, I have in my list, I have the BCF2000 as a input device. And I also have it as an output device. But if you don't set it as an output device, the BCF2000 will never see what you're sending it here. So that's key number one. I'm going to hit apply here, and we're good to go. Now, this is my patch. It's just a simple <coughs> uh, slider feeding some information to CTL out. Uh, velocity is 100. My channel is 1. And when I slide this up and down, obviously, you know, some numbers will change. So, uh, somewhere between 1 and um, 127. Or 0 and 127, I guess. Okay, so that's so that's the whole patch. This is, this is it. There's nothing to it. Now, but here's the trick. You have to have, right now, the... Uh, this is in uh, USB mode 1. Um, <clears throat> that's in the manual. I think as you turn it on, you have to have your finger. You get to press edit and turn it on. And No, that's not how you do it. I forget how you do it. But you have to make sure it's in USB mode 1. That's in the manual. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. So now we're going to teach this slider. I'm going to teach slider number seven to react to um, this thing. So I'm going to press learn, and I'm, and I'm going to slide seven. And up here, notice it says FD7. Oh, goody. That means it's listening for FD7. Notice learn is still on, and seven doesn't really matter. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to slide this up and down. And I'm getting this signal that says bad, but if I just let go of this thing, I do it a little bit, it becomes good. And now, I don't know why it shows bad, but it shows bad for a couple of times, and then I let go and it says good. Then it locks on to that data. So now it's sending, you know, channel 1, velocity 100, and it's sending these notes out. And look at this. Now I have control over, and that's it. So those are the three, three things, is, is A, you have to set MIDI settings, output device to the BCF2000, you have to have this, USB one mode, then learn, then slide it around, and you should be good to go. So now that it's set, it should never, I, I don't need to change this. Um, <clears throat> it can always be this channel. So, um, you know, I'm going to set, I'm going to go through the whole thing. I'm going to set this channel one, actually. Then there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'll patch it in here and I'll have my whole thing should all connect. And then I'll have eight sliders that I can run up and down, which will then uh, feed from my iPhone, blah, 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 blah. All right. Hope that was helpful. Uh, if not for you, maybe for me. Bye.